lovely people happy new year and welcome to 2018 now it's the year 2018 and i thought why not start my first video recapping some of my favorite favorite products of 2017 so this video is going to be all about my top recommendations and i hope you find it useful so let's get started now the first product that I would highly recommend all of you and it stood out as one of my most favorite products is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Now I try a lot of foundations and I keep switching. I love NARS, I love uh, Makeup Forever. But the Luminous Silk Foundation stood out. I mean, I had heard a lot about it, about how good it was, but I'd also heard how expensive it was. But when it comes to my skin, I don't like to compromise, especially when the foundation, because it pretty much determines how your makeup looks. So I gave this a shot and I really loved it for one big reason is that you don't even feel that you have a foundation on. It's so lightweight. So it gives you enough coverage, but at the same time, it's a very, very lightweight. So right now I am wearing the Armani Silk Foundation and I cannot even feel it. If you're looking to switch up to another foundation, a good quality one, something that gives you coverage but feels very light, this is the one guys, you need to try this. Now my next recommendation is actually a drugstore brand. Uh, concealers, we are always looking for the perfect concealer, something that can conceal our blemishes, pimples, whatever we need to be. And I used to try a lot of high-end brands, but then I came across this Maybelline concealer, the Fit Concealer. This is in the shade 25, it's medium, and guys, the coverage was amazing. So this actually became a staple in my purse and it's as good as any high-end uh, concealer. So I would definitely recommend if you're looking for a concealer to try the Fit Concealer by Maybelline. It gives you extremely good coverage. Now my third product that I loved in 2017 was the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Sometimes when I want my makeup to last longer, I tend to put powder. I usually don't. But when I do, I usually put the translucent powder only because it doesn't feel very powdery. And secondly, it gives you a very good setting base to your makeup. It's slightly on the pricier side, but definitely it's a big box and it lasts really long. So I would say it's totally worth it. Now when it comes to primer, I again, as any makeup junkie, keep switching between different primers. But one of the primers that I really liked uh, and I got to try was the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. It's just so moisturizing and it doesn't feel that oily when you apply it to your skin. This has pretty much become a staple in my makeup kit and it's very cheap as well. Guys, e.l.f. products are pretty, pretty reasonably priced. And for their price, they actually produce really good quality makeup. So I really love the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. If you're looking for a drugstore brand, you can definitely consider this one. In my previous video, you would have seen me talking about the Michael Todd Sonic Blend and that would be my next favorite product. The Sonic Blend brush by Michael Todd has just changed my life. Only because it gives you a very airbrush effect without having you put in a lot of effort. So when I press this, it vibrates. And when you use it to apply your foundation, it gives you a very, very seamless look without any fine lines. Um, it has three speed setting and you can use it as per your comfort. Um, I'm going to put the link to the review of this brush below and you can check it out to know more about this product. Now when it comes to the skin, I'm extremely particular. I like things more natural, more organic. And especially because my skin tends to be dry, I like things which are very, very moisturizing. So my next favorite product is actually the Clinique um, Moisture Surge Facial Cream. Now, before I apply any foundation or makeup, I need to make sure that my face is extremely hydrated. And for that, before even I put a primer, I actually put a face cream. And for that, if you're looking for a good recommendation, I would strongly suggest the Clinique Moisture Surge only because it again is a very hydrating product. It almost feels like you're putting water on your face without the wet effect. So um, love it, absolutely love it. I've been using this for more than five years, so it's definitely one of the staples in my makeup kitty. Now let's talk about lipstick. What has been the one lipstick that has stood out for me in 2017? And that's the one I'm wearing right now. 
This is a very neutral brown shade and it's actually a very reasonably priced lipstick which I discovered uh, thanks to one of the collaborations I did. It's the L'Oreal Colorage He Thinks He's Macho. It's a brown neutral shade. I wear it most of the time because it's so neutral and goes with all my outfits. So definitely recommending for you guys to try this brown lipstick shade called He Thinks He's Macho by L'Oreal Colorage. Now you applied all this makeup product, what do you need to keep it lasting long? And of course for that, hands down, I love the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I keep this in my bag, it's the travel size and I take it everywhere uh, when I'm traveling just to ensure my makeup is there. A lot of beauty bloggers and a lot of people love this product and I am one of them. I vouch for it. It's an amazing product to make sure your makeup stays longer. Now, these are all makeup products but when it comes to the face, I'm very, very particular as to what I put into my skin. I love organic, natural products. So when it comes to toner, I actually go for a natural route. Um, for a toner, I actually use rose water and this is a product I bought from Amazon. It's called the Leven Rose and it's 100% pure and organic, no preservatives, very natural and I actually use this as a toner all the time. After you wash your face, just spray a couple of drops and you're pretty much set. Again, it's a great product, helps to tighten your skin so it's definitely a staple when it comes to my skincare routine. Now the next product is again an e.l.f. product. Um, it's actually the e.l.f. lip exfoliator. Now a lot of times you know you apply lipstick and your lips get chapped or even before you apply a lipstick if you want to take care of those dry skin, guys use this lip exfoliator. All you have to do is take it, rub it on your lips and wash it off and it removes all the dead cells from your lips. Then apply a layer of Vaseline or a lip balm and your lips end up looking pretty lush and after that you can apply gloss or lipstick or whatever. So this is something very handy which I keep in my makeup bag so that I can keep my lips uh, moisturized. Now a lot of you ask me uh, what shampoo do I use and what I would recommend. Now the last six months I've been using only one shampoo and that's the It's 10 shampoo. It's the Miracle Shampoo and I love it only because it has keratin and it's sulfate free. Again, I don't like using any product that has sulfate in my hair only because it chemically damages it. So I use this It's 10 Miracle Shampoo um, for my hair. It is sulfate free, sodium chloride free, paraben free, has keratin. So and it feels just great, you know, it feels just so soft when you apply it. So if you're asking me for a shampoo recommendation, I would highly recommend this. Uh, definitely on the pricier side again, but if you're looking to have something similar to this, not so expensive, you can go for Marc Anthony Sulfate Free Shampoo or even L'Oreal Sulfate Free Shampoo. They are pretty good as well. Now the last product is actually a nail product that I'm going to recommend. It's the Gel Couture Collection by Essie. Now the reason I prefer the Gel Couture uh, line of Essie rather than its normal line, it's only because one, when you apply it, it dries up so quickly, you know, like I have a tendency to quickly start working after applying my nail polish and it can get pretty messy. Um, so this one dries pretty quickly and secondly, because it's the gel version, it lasts so much longer than the normal one. This one is in pink shade uh, 300, it's a hot pink shade and this is the top coat which is a must if you're applying any nail polish only because it makes it last longer and it gives you the very very shiny gel look. So this is in the shade 00, of course it's the top coat. So guys, these were my top favorite products of 2017. All the links will be mentioned in the description below so you don't have a hard time finding these products. Um, I would love to know some of your favorite products in the year 2017. Do share them in the comment below. And that's pretty much about it. Um, so don't forget to share, like, subscribe and comment. And you know, if you want to see more of my videos on your feed, don't forget to press the bell icon. And yep. Yeah. Have an amazing 2018. Till then, lots of love.